Okay, I've had to give in and use the tripod because holding it and trying to do stuff. <laughs> Clearly not my forte. Hands don't bend that way. I don't know what I'm doing. But right, okay. So, to be super organised with this one, I'm going to show you what I'm going to make. And we've got a little bit of this pasta left over. A quarter of a box. So I'm going to cook that. I've got my water boiling on the stove. Oh, there's a little bit of leftover dinner. The hubby wants that later. I've already had seconds. So yeah, some water boiling on the stove. I'm just going to throw that in now. Cook that. Um, ready for lunch tomorrow. So I'm going to mix that with... There's this authentic Italian abbiviata sauce. Now this might be a bit spicy for me because I am so, so much of a wuss. Like, so, so much of a wuss. Um, but I'm going to put a little bit in just to kind of wet the pasta and mix that in. I'll put in some nutritional yeast flakes as well um, and just take that to work and have it cold tomorrow. But to ensure that I'm super organised, I'm just going to also make my breakfast. Um, so let me just point you down and you can see what I'm doing. Excuse the, the mess of the place. But yeah, so I've got some... These are supposed to be... Oh. whole grain rolled oats and um, I normally get the Sainsbury's um, to taste the difference ones they're really nice they're my favorite but we were in where were we we were in Tesco's at the weekend and we needed to get shopping and there was two boxes of these which were a kilo each and two boxes of those for three pound which was great but as you can see they're kind of really milled like they're not like big oats at all it is more like ground for porridge um, which I don't remember having a box like this before so I'm hoping it's just this box but um, yeah so what I do is literally just pop some oats in the bottom of my dish put a little bit of water now you can also have milk um, we ran out of milk the other day or we only had a little bit left and um, where John's at home I wanted to leave the milk for him so I just had water because I'm not that fussy, in all honesty. This is the milled linseed um, that I was talking about, and it's really nice. Like, really nice, like, surprisingly really nice. Um, but yeah, you'll see, it's really... Yeah, it's like, with, like the sesame seeds. And then you've got... Oh, let's see. You've got like little bits of blueberry here, little bits of cranberry here, sesame seeds with the the milled linseeds. And um, it just makes it really delicious, if I'm honest. And I don't know why it changes the flavour, but it really does. Then you can add any fruit your little heart desires. So I'm going to use what I've got, um, which is just... I've got some strawberries and blueberries there. And I've got the blueberries. Order. So yeah, I'll just leave those as toppings on there. But yes, yeah, so this is my breakfast ready for tomorrow. How oh, yummy. Pasta is cooked. This is a really nice pasta. I've never tried this big one before. So if you haven't done it, if you haven't tried it, then maybe maybe try and get your hands on it because it's quite nice. But yeah, right. Grab a spoon. It smells quite spicy actually. Oh my god, I'm not going to be able to cope with this tomorrow. Maybe I'll just put one and a little bit of tablespoons. I'm going to get another half one on it. Now I know a ribiata is spicy. I'm going to use the work in an Italian. I was saying restaurant to sound posh, but it wasn't. It was a calf in Chapel Market in Islington when I was 14. So I do know I'm going to be able to. Right, so two tablespoons for those wussy people out there. Just enough to coat the pasta. I've got my lunchbox ready away. I've just put a couple of what was literally what was left of the plum tomatoes. So I'll pop all of that in. Another little mix. Try and get some of those tomatoes all mixed around as well. 
I think I can give the black pepper a miss on this because I think it's probably spicy enough. Yeah, okay, so that is that. A little bit of the nutritional yeast on there. So a little bit, a lot, I love it. Okay, so that will be lunch for tomorrow. There are some cherry tomatoes in there, or plum tomatoes, but it all gone to the bottom. But yeah, so I'll let that go cold, and then I'll put it in the fridge, and that'll be everything for tomorrow as well. Okay, so it's morning time now. Um, so yesterday, um, so I'm just finishing off yesterday's video because I didn't take my um, camera out to record with me. The porridge was a bit gloopy. If that's why right. I think I put too many um, porridge oats in, and they're too like small, like porridge oats rather than the big rolled oats. Um, so yeah, I think I put too many in, or not enough water. I think that might have been what it was. Um, and when I've done it before, I've done it with frozen fruit. Um, so obviously, as that defrosts, it puts a little bit more liquid in there as well. So I think that's a lesson learned for me because if you're using water, it seems to just go. I mean, it still tasted good, but I didn't really like that, that baby foody old-fashioned porridge consistency um so yeah that is a lesson learned for me um and i haven't got any pictures for that but for my lunch i had the um the large tube pasta torglioni i think it was called um so i had that with the arabiata sauce now that was really quite spicy so a bit too hot for me so i only used a little bit as you would have seen um when i cooked it and i actually just kind of as it was cooling i just ripped up some spinach and and poked it into the Tupperware pot. Um, so I had it with spinach and that was fine. So I had that for lunch. So yes, so I've done that then. I left the office, went and met my friend at King's Cross. Um, she, um, what happened? She was, she was a little bit late. So I stood there and I managed to get, they had like these food stalls and stuff out. Now lots of it, there was like the cakes, the normal cakes and meats and cheeses and stuff. So didn't really have any of that, well didn't have any of those, um, wasn't really impressed by it, but there was a mango store, they'd done cups of mango, so I had one of those, and there will be a picture somewhere here. Yeah, I walked around, walked through King's Cross Station, and went to Pret, and there was a, a nuts loaf, but yeah, it was like dates and nuts and stuff, and that was really yummy, so I had that. And then um, she arrived, and we went to the theatre, which is kind of just behind King's Cross Station, so the Railway Children. We had a really good time and I got really good deals on the tickets and a free glass of Prosecco with that as well. So we had that. So we left there, we went to another bar, had a glass of wine. Um, service wasn't the greatest. Um, so yeah, we decided to left, leave there because I remembered that there was Mildred's quite close up on Pentonville Road near King's Cross. So we went there oh, and I just love that place. It's so much fun and the food is so good. It's a vegetarian vegan place, so there's always vegan options. And there's vegan desserts, um, which, as you know, is a rarity. You're normally stuck with the fruit or the sorbet, and there's nothing wrong with those at all. But sometimes you want a nice slice of chocolate cake or something like that. You know, you want a dessert as you would have done in the old days. So, yeah, and they've got that. And they've got a raw chocolate cake, which I've had before, which is lovely, but it's really rich, so I'd suggest sharing that. Um... But yeah, so what I had was the vegetable goyza. Now, because I didn't take... My phone has got really little memory and it's really crap, to be honest. So I don't tend to do a lot on my phone. Um, and I didn't feel... So I didn't take any pictures of the food. But what I have done is I found pictures of them online and I put them here. So we had the vegetable goyza. Um, we shared that. Um, and they are super delicious. And the sauce is really rich and yummy and oh, they're just, just so good. I had the Sri Lankan... Sri Lankan sweet potato curry, um, which as a wuss with with um, spice, it's spicy enough for me. It's still hot, but the taste is so good that I can overcome the spice. Um, but they do give you an extra pot of, I don't know what it is because I didn't really look at it, but you, if you want it hotter, you can add that to the, the curry sauce as well and make it hotter. So yeah, they would kind of cater for, for all tastes really. And I had the... Um, it's the salty caramel coconut rum macadamia nut truffles. <gasps> oh, they are so good. So that's everything that I ate today. Um, so day two, week one. Um, so there was quite a lot of food, but you know we did we did eat out. If you like this 
please give me a thumbs up and let me know that you're enjoying these. Um, if you really liked it, don't forget to go and subscribe. If you think that anyone could benefit from this, share it. Have a lovely day and I will see you in my next video.